hello everyone. Well, I did it. I did it. I did it. I did it. I am so happy it's done. So, I had a stack of probably four to five hundred white cardstock that had been printed on. They were all digis that needed to be cut out. And I do not cut out by hand. Oh no. My hands, it does not work that way. <clears throat> so, I used my scan and cut and I did it. I finally got them all cut out. It took me five days. So, sometimes the scan and cut sees things that um, we would normally not pick up on and they cut funny. So, things like this. They cut it, but you can always use it. Um, there was another one here that kind of cracked me up. Now, these are all, um, these are all, uh, polka doodles. Um, not all of them, because some of these I've had for years. I had a stack that I found while going through my stuff that I had done. Um, but see, it cuts out, it cut out the, the wood right there. But that's okay, because you can, you can fix that. You can, you can still work with all that. So, um. <laughs> I had to come on and show you. Oh my gosh, I, I thought I was never going to be done. It took hours, because you know, if anybody um, knows um, uh, about using the scan and cut to cut out things, it's time consuming. It's I think it's even more time consuming than using a die, because um, you have to... Well, you have to load the mat, then you have to go to where you want to go, then it has to check it, then it has to you do something else, then it checks it again, then you do something else, then it checks it again, and then finally, you get to the where it's going to be cut, then it's got to check it again, then it cuts, and then you got to take it off the mat. So, um, it is really time consuming, but I'm just going to show you, <laughs> oh, see if I can, if I can, um, I don't even know if I can get them all. Uh, I have a tendency when I do, um, when I um, print out my digis that I purchase, I like to, to cut them in, print them in several um, several sizes so that it's all done on done once, and um, so some of them um, I've were printed in uh, a really large form. But here's one stack. Okay, that's just, um, that's just polka doodles. And here's some more. By, by large, I mean as large as this. Because I can put this on a, um, I can put it on a card if I want to, but I can put it on a tag, I can put it on, um, a, um, a book, a scrapbook, or something like that. So there's some more. It even went so far as to cut out these. So I have a whole stack of these. Um, then I guess that's that's all the, the polka doodles. Oh no, there's these. This is a free digi right now um, for uh, COVID-19. And um, I printed them out fairly large because um, I wanted to use them uh, for something specific. So um, these are all the, the little nurses. These are items that I found on Pinterest that I had, they had been, I had printed them out I don't know how many years ago. Don't know. This stack here is all, um, comes from a, oh gosh, I can't remember the USB. If you want to know, I can find it. It's a USB, and um, I then went and printed out. Um, I printed out a mostly all. They're all. These are all. Um, uh, oh my goodness! Steampunk. This all this stuff is steampunk. These are some that I had in my stash that had never been cut out, and these are um, 
from the Paper Studio. I think it's Paper Studio or Paper... Paper... Oh, gosh. And I can't remember. But uh, a lot of cute ones. Like a Halloween one. So, um, there's that. And then I don't remember where I got this one. Um, I don't remember where that, I got, that one came out of. And then... Um, I can't remember the name of this one either. I should have wrote it down. Sorry. But these are um, some of my um, newest digis that I just got purchased um, on Etsy. And um, so I got, finally got them all cut out. All right. That was the cutout. Then, you know I've been doing, using up my stash. This was not put together. And I did this little bear shaker. Put them together. All of this is embossing. That's another thing that takes forever. I still have this much plus. I probably have, yeah, I still have quite a bit. But I just love using the different colored embossing powders. Look at how pretty that is. I just, uh, and this one. On. So, um, using up my stamps, getting those done. Um, these I had put together um, two years ago I'm, I know I know it wasn't last last uh, Christmas so it had to have been the year before and this what this is is uh, hold on let me show you so I can't remember the name of the company but there's I think well, there's several companies out there that make double-sided uh, like sticker paper and what I did was I die cut um, a bunch of different things out and then I put them, I took the back off and I put them on here and left the front on so I didn't take off the, um, the uh, top layer of the sticker paper until I was ready to glitter them. And as you can see, I was able to glitter two different colors because I took off one set, glittered it, then put on the other set and glittered it. And um, so I like, I like how all these turned out. So this is not embossing. This is all glitter by using double-sided um, uh, paper uh, to um, put my sticker on. So, just a lots of different different ones there. This is actually one that has not been done. Um, I won't do this one until I put it on a card. Um, so, here's the back. I actually cut this out of the paper. And that's the back, so that will go down onto the, the card. Then, you'll take the top white off and... You can sprink, then sprinkle your glitter or whatever you're going to use um, onto the sticky part that's left. And then that's when you get that. So I hope that explains uh, what that is all about. And then I went and I found all these that I had ran through my Xyron. <laughs> so... This is what I've been doing. Um, I still, like I said, I still have a lot of embossing left to do, but I'm so glad I've come done with my cutting for now. Um, I don't plan on buying any more digis, so um, it'll that'll help. <laughs> but I do have a lot of USBs. Um, I have a huge selection, in fact, that um, I want to um, get out and possibly um, print some stuff on. And then um, a lot of it is could be um, what do you call it um, to use as cardstock because they have some really beautiful papers. I have a couple that are just nothing but papers, and they're really cute uh, and beautiful papers. So anyway, thanks for stopping by. This is this is my last five days, and um, I'm actually like I said, I'm really glad it's it's over with the cutting because. It was starting to get monotonous, and I cannot lie and not tell you the truth. I actually threw five, the last five away in the garbage. I said, I'm done. I cannot do any more. It's gone. And so they all went in the trash. But the truth is, I still have about 
30 of stamped images that I stamped that need to be cut out and colored. So we'll see about that. But that's down the road. So anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you guys are doing well and please stay safe. Have a great day.